Here's a shocking fact. After a lecture, most students forget almost 90% of what they heard in just 24 hours. Why does this happen? And more importantly, how can you fix it? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Munir, and welcome back to Prof Talks AI and Engineering. Today, we're diving into the Learning Pyramid, a powerful model that explains how different study methods affect memory retention. Here's something you've probably felt before. You sit through a lecture, and the next day, almost everything is gone. That's where the learning pyramid comes in. It has seven levels, and each one shows how much information we actually remember. The percentages in brackets, like 5% or 75%, are the average retention rates. Now, the top four levels are called passive learning. This is when you simply receive information. You're listening, reading, or watching, but not really doing anything with it. The bottom three levels are active learning. Here, you're involved. You're talking, practicing, or even teaching. And that's where real memory kicks in. These levels also connect to different learning styles. Auditory learning means you learn by listening, like lectures or group discussions. Visual learning is learning by seeing, through books, videos, or demonstrations. And kinesthetic learning is learning by doing, hands-on practice, or teaching others. So let's break down the seven levels, one by one. At the very top is lectures, 5%. Just sitting and listening. Retention is tiny, only about 5%. Next is reading, 10%. Flipping through textbooks or notes. You remember about 10%. Then comes audio-visual, 20%. Watching a video or presentation, where you both see and hear the material. Retention jumps a little, to 20%. The fourth layer is demonstration, 30%. When someone shows you how it's done, like a science experiment, that's around 30%. Now, these top four are passive learning, and that's why they fade so fast. But here's where things get exciting. The bottom three levels, active learning. The fifth level is discussion, 50%. When you share ideas, ask questions, and debate. Retention skyrockets to 50%. Next is practice, 75%. Rolling up your sleeves, doing experiments, solving problems. You remember about 75%. And finally, the strongest method teaching others, 90%. When you explain something in your own words, you remember it best, up to 90% after just 24 hours. So why do the bottom layers work so much better? Because when you discuss, practice, or teach, your brain isn't just receiving, it's processing, connecting, and rebuilding the knowledge in your own words. That deeper engagement is what locks the memory in place. This changes the game. If you're a student, study groups and practice questions are far more effective than just reading notes. If you're a teacher, it means moving from endless lectures to interactive lessons. And if you're a professional, the fastest way to master a skill is to mentor or teach it to someone else. The pyramid isn't just theory. It's a roadmap for smarter learning in real life. Learning isn't about working harder, it's about working smarter. Move from passive learning to active learning and you'll remember longer, perform better, and keep growing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you found this useful, please like, share, and subscribe to Prof Talks AI and Engineering. See you in the next video. And until then, keep learning smarter. Thank you.